Okay, now as promised, uh, here's a brief introduction to how to sign up for Lecture Tools uh, for those of you who haven't already set up an account. To start by going to the website www.lecturetools.com, which looks like this, and you can just click sign up and get started. Uh, now this is very straightforward. You put in your name, your email address, here you should probably put your university email address, though it doesn't really matter. Uh, this will be used as your login name, but the site won't really send you any email, um, so it doesn't really make any difference what you put as long as you know what it is. Uh, but, but I would recommend putting your University of Windsor address, and then create a password. So let's just make up. process I'll cancel it you would click that you're a student you can provide your cell phone number if you want um, and this way you can text in responses instead of needing to use the website it's entirely up to you we'll skip that for now here you can set up America's in Asia that's where we are select country Canada we're in higher education we're in the Toronto time zone. And so then if you look at the list of universities, you can type it in to make it easier. Remember Windsor, yeah. University of Windsor. So once you've selected that, I'm not going to go ahead and actually create this account. Um, because I don't want to create a false account. Um, but what I will do is show you what happens when you log in after creating an account. So let's start over and I'll log in. This is an account I created that uh, student account when I was taking a, 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 a an online or a course on using online tools for teaching uh, at the university. But essentially, if we go into here under your name and go to manage courses, you can see that you'll need an invitation to access the course. And once the class list is finalized, um, basically by the first day of class, I will send uh, this link out to everyone. Um, though you might be able to just use the link that's in the syllabus. Anyway, so once you can access the course, you'll be able to access all of the material uh, for the lecture. You can create your own notes, etc. So that's essentially all there is to it. Um, what I recommend that you do is, for those of you who don't have an account, I recommend that you talk to students who took the Aerospace Engineering Fundamentals course in the summer who do have accounts, and uh, that you seek their help to get set up if you have any trouble. Uh, and if that can't help you, then you can come and see me. But uh, it should be fairly straightforward. Uh, and I, I don't think anyone had a problem last, last time around. So that's it for this, and hopefully uh, this is a helpful introduction to lecture tools, and you'll see um, just how we'll use it in class um, starting next week.